right, so today I'm just gonna go over the Color Snap Visualizer app. So I went ahead and I selected the app. There's a couple things um, within the app itself, but the first I wanna do is I wanna go through this tab called Explore. Um, so I'm gonna click on the digital color wall so that I can view all of my colors. So here it's very easy to see our color wall. These are our main colors here. At the top of the screen, you can see that we have our Sherwin-Williams colors. Those are the main colors that you see below. We have a historic color collection with interior and exterior. And then we have a timeless collection. So you can select whatever collection you'd like. I'm just gonna stick to our Sherwin-Williams main colors. And say I'm looking for a specific color. Say I want to paint my kitchen and I want to do it a nice gray color. I'm gonna zoom in to my grays and I am going to decide if I want something that's a little bit lighter, maybe something that's a little bit darker. But for this project, I really just want something that's lighter. And I want something that maybe has more of a brown undertone to it. So I'm going to go ahead and select the top row where you'll see the lighter versions of my grays. Um, and I really like this passive color. So I'm going to click the plus sign to add it to my saved bar at the bottom. And I'm also going to save Silver Point. Love both of those colors. Now I'm also painting my trim in my, tr my kitchen. So I'm going to head over to the right and I'm going to look through some of these whites. Now all of this is just literally the touch of your finger. I click on the white that I'd like. And I really like this extra white. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my bottom. And the cool thing about this is if you open the extra white, if you go to the bottom, you'll see another little square with the blue. I'm going to select that. And it just tells me a couple more details about the color. So I can view it in a space if I'd like. Gives you some color information. So you'll see a locator number um, in this section. You'll see a number that says 257C1. So that 257 number is the page number if you were to look in your fan deck. So it'd be page number 257. And the C1 number would just indicate that it is the first number, um, the first color on your color strip. You can go ahead and look at the color strip here to see other colors. You can see some coordinating colors that go with it. And then some similar colors. So I'm all done here, so I just select done. And say I really haven't figured out that color that I'm looking for yet. I can go ahead and I can click on some of the color collections to get some more inspiration. So Sherwin-Williams has some generated collections here that you can go ahead and look through. It's almost like a mini Pinterest. You can also match a photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and match a photo. I'm gonna go into my photos and I'm gonna select this photo of my fiance and I. I'm gonna go and select done. And the cool thing about this is we can actually drag the colors to where we feel we like the color best. So I'm gonna select done. And you can also scan a color number. So say you were just working with a fan deck and you really just wanted to get a better feel for how that small chip on the fan deck would look in a larger space, you can go ahead and do that by just clicking on this and clicking scan. So at the bottom, we're gonna go over to our paint bucket. We're gonna select paint. And I'm gonna open instant paint. I'm gonna start painting. Okay, so I have my kitchen wall here and I would like to paint it this yellow color. It's called Different Gold. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the wall and it paints it. The other thing I can do is I can paint a photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my camera roll again and I'm gonna select this picture of one of our stores. And I would like to paint the wall this Bengal grass. All I'm going to do is I'm just gonna select the wall by clicking on it. And it's literally just the tap of a button, the tap of your finger, and you're painting the wall. 
All right, so that's pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is literally just touch where you'd like to paint. It's that easy. The last thing I'd like to go over are some of the resources that you have. Um, so if you go into my ideas, you can see that I have that picture of my fiance and I. Um, so some of the color inspiration that I really loved from fall, I was able to save in here just by opening up um, that photo. You can also work with your painter or contractor and they can add some um, ideas in there for you as well. The other thing you have is a paint calculator. So here you're easily able to calculate your paint needs and how many gallons you need just by knowing the square footage of your room. So you just need to know the average height, um, perimeter and feet, and then if you have any windows or doors, you're able to accurately measure those. And the last thing is you can find your closest Sherwin-Williams store. So I'm going to allow it to just locate me so that it can tell me my closest store. And my closest store would be East Wareham. So that's it for the Color Snap Visualizer. I hope you found that easy. And um, if you have any questions, you can always refer to your local Sherwin-Williams store. Thank you.